for future retirees. Governor, we, we heard a lot about young people in this debate. Why should young people be involved in the political process, and what is the Perry campaign going to be doing to engage these young Americans and get them to the polls? Look, young Americans have more at stake in this election than anybody else for at least two reasons, or as much as anybody else in this election for at least two reasons. Number one, they've got their, their working careers and lives ahead of them. It is for them that we must preserve the American dream. Every generation has left more opportunities for our children than we inherited from our parents. We must not become the first generation that mortgages America's future because we have borrowed so much and we continue to try to tax and spend our way into prosperity. It has never worked in America's history. It has never worked in any other country's history. It won't work here. So first, they have the most at stake in terms of they've got their working lives ahead of them. They've got their careers ahead of them. We need to make sure that we leave them the same opportunities our parents left us. But secondly, the reason they've got so much at stake in this election is it'll be up to them to pay off this massive debt. Unless we make a massive course correction right now, it'll be our children and grandchildren will be left to pay off this massive debt. It is unfair to burden them with that debt. Every dollar they spend, they're borrowing 42 cents on every dollar they spend in Washington, D.C. There's no plan right now in Washington, D.C. to balance the budget, to pay off that debt, that debt, that accumulated debt of $14 trillion. So they absolutely have the most at stake in this election. I think Governor Perry is going to continue reaching out to voters of all ages by showing that he has got a common sense, fiscally conservative base message and track record that will lead to job creation, lead to economic growth without raising taxes, will lead to debt reduction by cutting regulations with aggressive tort reform by creating the opportunities for more private sector what jobs. What is he going to do to make a college education affordable? More affordable? Look, I think the most important thing he's going to do is to continue to grow jobs so more families can afford to send their kids not only to college, but to afford to make sure they pay their health care bills, their housing bills, their mortgage payments. The reality is the best way to help the American people is not through more government spending and more government programs, it's through a stronger economy. He's shown he can do that as governor of the state of Texas. He'll do that as the next president of the United States as well.